Greece is back in the news again because of a standoff with leaders of Eurozone countries over whether it will get an extension of its financial bailout. The Greeks want an extension of loans for an additional four to six months, and ultimately want to loosen the strict austerity measures of spending cuts and tax hikes imposed by the bailout. After five years of bailouts and belt tightening, unemployment in Greece is running at 25%. The new government was elected on an anti-austerity ticket, putting it at odds with EU demands. Even if Greece gets a temporary extension, that won't settle the negotiation. What is required between Greece and the Eurozone is not a standoff, but a solution. Ultimately, the big question is whether Greece will be able to remain a part of the single European currency, the Euro. In some ways, being in the Euro has made Greece's situation more difficult, since it means Greece can't print money to deal with its debts and kickstart its economy. But a country leaving the Euro would be unprecedented and likely chaotic for the economy. So markets are watching all this with trepidation. At this point, you may be asking, does this have anything to do with me? If you're investing in a retirement account like a 401k or an IRA, it almost certainly does. Consider a fairly typical target date mutual fund, a popular all-in-one investment choice in many employer-sponsored retirement plans. About a third of that fund's stock holdings may be in foreign stocks. Of that, only a sliver of your money will be in Greek stocks. An index fund tracking international stocks, for example, has only 0.1% of assets in Greek companies. But what happens in Greece will also affect the other countries in Europe, especially those that share the common currency. About 20% of the foreign holdings in a typical target date fund are in Euro member countries. If Greece leaves the Euro, it may change how investors and lenders feel about keeping money in other countries that have struggled, including the larger economies of Spain and Italy. Worst case scenario? Investors and citizens in some of those troubled economies could start pulling their Euros out of banks. Even if that doesn't happen, borrowing costs could go up, and that could hurt economic growth across Europe and weigh down stock prices. The effect of a Greek exit would depend on how it unfolded. Ironically, some market watchers think bad news in Greece could be relatively good for other European investments. BMO private bank chief investment officer Jack Ablin points out that if Athens is thrown into pandemonium, then it's actually less likely other countries will want to follow them out of the currency union. And there's another angle for you to consider. If fear of European instability drives investors to seek out safe assets, U.S. Treasuries will probably continue to be in demand. What that would mean is bond yields and interest rates staying at their unusually low levels. But perhaps the most insidious thing right now, says Ablin, is uncertainty. Again, a Greek exit from the euro would be unprecedented, and that makes the effect unpredictable. So this is a good time for investors to be thinking about so-called black swans, market events that seem unimaginable, like black swans used to be, until you actually see one.